didn't have service today. Um, had a storm moving through. Just a little bit nervous about um, having service and decided it was uh, best just to call it. Um, looked bad. So, it's out of safety of the others, but I've had this book on my mind, Titus, and I thought I'd go ahead and uh, just walk through it just, just for a minute. Um, starts off with Paul, Sertum of God, an apostle of Jesus, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness, that telling you who it's to. Or it's to his elect. And it tells you what our hope is. And that is put forth later on in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of our our God, our Savior. To Titus, my own son, after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Verse 5, he says, For this cause. Now, what was the cause? But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. For in the times past, it was manifested through types and through shadows. But now is manifested through preaching. But it is those, it is to those, the elect, which are alive and here. Left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting, and ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. For a bishop must be blameless, as a steward of God, now at this point here, he's giving what blameless means. He must he's a steward, not self willed. First off he starts with what they are not. Not self willed, not soon angry. Now he's 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 giving what blameless means. Not self willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker. <clears throat> not given to filthy lucre. Now he tells what blameless means, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught, and to be taught you must be alive. And you go back to John 3, <clears throat> when the Lord was talking to Nic Nicodemus, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. So there must be unsound doctrine. For he is defining the doctrine. Now he's saying that there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers now he pinpoints a certain people here, especially, especially they of the circumcision, the Jews. And I've got Galatians 2, 3 and 4 wrote down here. Let me see. And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them the gospel privately to them, but neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, 
was compelled to be circumcised, and that because of false brethren, unawares brought in, who came in privately, privily to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage. That yoke, that yoke, is what he is, is what he is speaking of. And what did they do? To whom we gave place by subjection. No, not for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. <clears throat> and I'll, in a later here, I will get over into Acts a, a, as an example and in Paul's life, actually. Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, mislead, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake. Now some say, well, that is that is for money, and that's normally what filthy lucre <clears throat> um, means. But it's they're they're looking to the to the works of their own hands, slow bellies. That's what they're looking to. Then he gives an example. One of themselves. Even a prophet of their own said the Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, and slow bellies. Let me go back to Galatians here again. Here's the example of Peter. That's where I, But when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face because he was to be blamed. For before that certain came in from James, he did eat with the Gentiles. And it said, especially those of the circumcision. He was pointing to one particular people. And when you think back to when Christ was tempted, many times, if not every time, and I'm not sure about that, but but he was it was the Pharisees or was it or, or it was the Pharisaical thinking that that process, the works of the hands, that's who was tempting him. For before that certain came from James, he did eat with the Gentiles, and that certain, but when they that came, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them which were of the circumcisions, and other Jews disassembled likewise with him, insomuch that Barnabas, also was carried away with their dissimulation. So when over here in Titus, when it says, especially they of the circumcision, that's what he's looking to. So what the serp, so what they are bringing must not be sound doctrine for Paul to tell Titus to watch out for them. You go over in Jude and you say those that were ordained of old and if I can get to it here this is not my normal Bible for there were certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and if you look at the qualifications back 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 here that that is or or or, or in Timothy that is one, they are <clears throat> ungodly men turning the grace of our God into, into evil and denying the only Lord God and our, and our Lord Je Je Jesus Christ. And if, you, and if you look back to the circumcision, that's why it talks about in Hebrews, he, or, or I think it was Hebrews, a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. And Paul, Paul himself, <clears throat> thinking he was doing the work of God. That's what, that's what he, that's what he was thinking. And on that road to Damascus, it said, it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks there was a work that was going that was going on he 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 was thinking he was doing the work of god and that that man that man named jesus <clears throat> was not 
the Son of God. That's why he was hailing them into prison. And that is turning the, turning the grace of our God, what it says back here, into lasciviousness. This witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith. I'll wait. Not giving heed once again to what? Jewish fables. Peter talks about that. Should have got my Bible. Peter talks about that. That, uh, trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold of gold that perisheth and that is not it it's right here in my other Bible <clears throat> it's talking about silver and silver and gold oh well Unto, and, uh, unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and, un and unbelieving is nothing pure. <clears throat> it says, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. And he says, especially, especially those of the circumcision. What is it pointing to? These qualifications back here, all all of these, and I think we will, we will get into that a little bit <clears throat> deeper. Not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of, ha uh, of, uh, of hospitality. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Verse 16, they profess that they know God and pointing back to Paul, Paul in his mind, he was, he was professing to do the work of God. He was not shown, he was not shown yet that Christ, that, 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 that Jesus, he said, he said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Well, who art thou, Lord? <clears throat> there was a work going on in him, Paul. Paul, <clears throat> Paul was 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 in his mind. He was doing that work of what <clears throat> of God. But it says right here, they profess that they profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him. Being now, listen to the description: abominable disobedient and to every good work reprobate that is looking back to the law <clears throat> and in essence in essence <clears throat> when it says upon the cross it what's the it that is that it was the works that the father gave the son to do <clears throat> when he looked down and he said this is my son in whom I am well pleased and Christ upon the cross says it is finished <clears throat> they do not they have not been shown that it is finished that's what they have not been shown <clears throat> Go down through here, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. I'm going to go down through this, going to verse 10. Not purloining. That means stealing. But showing all good fidelity, that they may, be a, that they may adorn the sound doctrine of God, our Savior, in all things. That purloining, that stealing. I think about the thieves on the cross. And I've come to the conclusion, or I've been shown, I, I, I don't know exactly how to say it. 
I don't think they were thieves in the way of stealing bread or or stealing with their hands. I think they were both the Pharisee of the Pharisee. Attempting to steal the righteousness of our Lord and Savior. I think they were thieves in that way. I think that may be in other ways too. <clears throat> but thinking that by their hands, those that are especially of the cir circumcision to the point that Peter and Barnabas <clears throat> When, when the when those of the circumcision walked in, <clears throat> and Paul, and Paul stood them up to 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 their face, like it says in Acts 15. I think those that that purloining that that stealing is an attempt to steal the work of what our Lord and Savior did in His walk in this world in, in in his offering himself up he said the scriptures must be fulfilled and they and they were ful, 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 fulfilled there was what there was not one i that was not dotted and there was not one t that was not crossed and in the and, and in that offering up of that perfect sacrifice <clears throat> And it was, and you know, and we have been shown that it was accepted in the power of, of the resurrection. <clears throat> and it says, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation. There, there is a separation in here, and Paul was pointing to, now, and now he's going to the grace. For the grace of that God bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men and it is appears to and it only appears to those that you go back here in first one his elect which are alive to hear there has been a second birth teaching us denying ungodly and worldly lust and once again that ungodly and world and, and worldly lust is pointing to Pointing to that Moses law, thinking it work, it, it that salvation cometh by the works of a man, and in and in the righteousness of his hands. But it is the circumcision, not made with hands. <clears throat> Teaching us, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, and that comes through the grace, the amazing grace of an almighty God. That's where that comes from, to live. It's the only way that you can live soberly, righteously, and lo looking for that blessed hope. And what is that blessed hope? You go back over here to verse 2, in hope of eternal life. Looking, looking to the resurrection. That is our hope of eternal life. And glorious appearing who gave himself for gave himself for of us for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify him to himself a peculiar people zealous of good 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 works. <clears> Though <throat> these things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. To despise is to bring the works of man's hands. <clears throat> Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawler but gentle, showing all meekness. For we ourselves were sometimes... Now listen, this is Paul. He's not excluding himself. He's saying, for we ourselves also were sometimes what? What's the description? That that he lays unto himself. Foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers' lust, 
pleasures, living in malice, envy, hateful, and hating one another. He is he is going he is going back to <clears throat> back to when he when like when let's let's read that one more time. I just read it, but I think I want to read it again. Certain men, and, I, and I'm going to read it again, when therefore Paul had no small decision and dissension, this is Acts 15, let me slow down. Certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. And when you go back over here to Titus, <clears throat> for we ourselves were sometimes foolish. Paul, Paul was under that right there as Saul. He was there when they were stoning Stephen. He was consenting unto his death. He, he was looking to this exact same thing. Except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved carrying letters with him to Damascus. Ananias, I believe it was Ananias, said, Lord, I've heard many bad things of, uh, of this man. He said he is a chosen man vessel but look at the description of what Paul said we he said we ourselves were sometimes foolish disobedient deceived serving divers lusts pleasures living in malice listen to that description and then go and then go over here not self-willed not soon angry not given to wine and go over in Timothy and read that but after the kindness and the love of God our Father, our Savior toward man appeared not by works of righteousness which we have done. This is what Paul is laying out to Titus. But according to His mercy, He saved us. The amazing grace of an almighty God by the washing of regeneration <clears throat> and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Do you do, 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 do you see? Do, 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 do you see how Paul he's taking it completely from that law and that works of the righteousness of man. He says that that we should understand because we were there. And he is lay, laying it where it completely and totally is. <clears throat> but according, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he, he saved us. By the washing of regeneration and then renewing which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, always, always point, point, pointing, pointing forward those types and those shadows were pointing to, to our Lord and Savior. They are set aside. They, they, they it, it is completed. It is finished. That being justified by His grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. And that goes right back to the second verse. In hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. This is a faithful saying. Looking unto Jesus, which is the author and the finisher of our faith. And who is he speaking to? Paul, a servant of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ. How? According to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after God, after godliness. <clears throat> the if the elect. <clears throat> That's who he is. 
that's who he is pointing to. This is a faithful saying. And these things I will that thou affirm constantly through sound doctrine, that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. But avoid foolish questions, genealogy, contentions, and strivings about what? About the law, which has been set aside, which has been fulfilled by the work of Jesus. That it, it has been, he said, it is finished. <clears throat> <clears throat> for they are unprofitable and vain. <clears throat> that was on my mind, and I'm sorry that it was broken and and uh, um, Connie tells me I should not apologize, but that's what the Lord has handed. That's what the Lord handed me, and uh, if nothing else, at least you got to hear a little bit of. At least I read some scripture. <clears throat>